Hey everyone, it's Retro Gaming Now, and we're back with Fate. And uh, first of all, first of all, I want to apologize for the last bit of the last episode getting cut off. We actually went through a whole floor, and I ended up dying once. Um, and we did three more quests, uh, but at the end, I got to level up. So I want to keep going with strength. And while we're here, oh, here, let's do um, do a couple more spell casting. I think that's good. And while we're here, we can do some gambling. We did get that, but uh, 38. What I really need is something like that, 62. 14% magic. Mm, let's try that 66. 13 flat magic. Damage taken reduced. Um, yeah, I think we'll flip it out. Okay, so now my magic's at 150, <laughs> ridiculously high. Um, is there anything else That's I could fine. switch out real quick? 75, maybe a new belt soon, but, uh, yeah. So, we're getting pretty close now. We need to get some 48 quests. Um, it's 50. I am not going to get any quests for the final level because that's where we're going to face the boss. 49. And plus, if we get those quests, then we'll sp spawn more bosses. Good day. 48. You have received a quest. My guy's pretty loaded right now, isn't he? I like that helm. 48, is that what we wanted? You have received a task. Yes. And let's check this guy. And you're 49. always welcome here. <laughs> I don't usually never see Dembo nor walking. I thought he kind of stood still. Good day. usually walking. Okay. You have received a quest. Yeah, it's weird to see him this far out. Also, one little thing. This guy is Gets the Traveler. I think if we find anyone in the dungeon, he's bets the traveler, so they're like brothers. You step into the portal. All right. It was a small level. I guess I was, I was wrong when I said they'd all be big. Alright. It's gonna be a Yanosferatu, the high level vampire. You know, one thing I wanted to get, which I forgot, is another antidote. Because, boy, it's annoying to not have antidotes. I need to. Okay, he should be yeah, just about dead. So we got super healing charm, nice. That's always useful. So we'll just sort of go along the edge, see what we see. Nothing here. There we go, there's that double kill. No, uh, weapon? He's not too bad. So when they've got a weapon, is we really gotta be careful. I like this tower shield, I think is what I have. You have sprung the trap. Yeah, tower shield. It's pretty cool. It looks cool. I'd have to get, I wanna probably eventually get a better one. When we, before we face the final boss, I will have a time where I just try and get the best everything we can from the game like. But thankfully, this is a pretty short level. I'm happy with that because I, you know, sometimes it just gets a little old with the long levels. Yeah, I'm really. Un it's unfortunate that we missed some of the action, but uh, yeah, we died. It was difficult. There was a lot of stuff going on. In fact, the way we died was kind of dumb. Um, we were had gone through. We got everything on the quests, and so then we were heading back. And as I was heading back, there was an, a wearable I think that I charmed and forgotten about, and he was there, so I was walking by, and it was like three hits, and I was gone, so, you know, we've said before how wearables are dangerous, and so we just, uh, really made a dumb mistake. It was not a, uh, I, you know, I didn't do anything wrong, I mean, obviously I did something wrong, but it wasn't a, 
a real difficult fight. It wasn't a boss. It was the dumbest way to die that I can think of, which is just an isolated monster that I just forgot about. So. So that's what that was. Unfortunately, we had to miss it, but uh, <laughs> it was pretty embarrassing. So, I, you know, not seeing it is not necessarily the worst thing in the world. Ooh. I'm gonna probably let's charm that guy. Just give us a little bit of help. I'm gonna charm that too. I think the ice drake I could probably have just taken out, but now they'll attack each other with these uh, greater basilisks. When that. Yeah, there's a boss. Ooh, we need a more of these. I'll use my regular healing charm first. Yeah, just get that out of the way. Ooh, that's dangerous. Be careful. Yeah, like, when I'm in the thick of things, I can get stuff done. You know, I can really help because I have a pretty good... Uh, melee attack, but the problem is I can take damage real fast if I'm not paying attention. Collect direct. And he should be gone. You are overburdened. Uh, the quest is um, Yeah, our wyverns are gone. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a couple seconds to uh, just reset. Got a bunch of big items. This thing I've seemed like it's earlier to be overburdened, but it's just how it is. I guess I got some real large items. Okay, so switch back to. Now uh, we'll do probably charm is what we're gonna do next. Actually, probably heal still. So we got a shrink. Yeah, having that shield is invaluable. That was a good idea. I'm happy that I invested in that. We got Pico the fisherman. Find fresh fish. Let's just see if we've got any flawless beta carp. It's not better. Dory. Salamander. No, no. Flawless goldfish. Um, that's worse, but we do get magic. Hmm. Oh, a griffin. Yes, we are definitely buying that. Oops, that's the wrong one. Creeping with a tour. Unicorn. Where was it? Am I just missing it? Nocturne, Stalker, Wyvern, Salamander, Abomination, Creeping Widow, Timberwolf, Direwolf, Tunnel Spider, Unicorn. There was a griffin, wasn't there? Did I just miss that somehow? the heck? Flawless Ruffy. Here we go. Your pet has been transformed. There we go, and now my pet can start learning spells, I think. I'm not sure if he starts with any spells known, but since we got this Summon Skeleton spell, this will be a good way to see. Yes, we can teach it to him. Is he going to use it or not? I don't know. Griffin's good. That's a good final place for my pet to be at. Be pretty effective. Also, I can sell my stuff. If I go to, oops, identify. Okay. Since we got these here, might as well just get these out too. The spell could not be completed. Okay. So, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on up there. I want to uh, hopefully not incite multiple bosses at once. That's what we just did. Be completed. Yeah, that boss did half of my damage with one hit. So we're going to have to really be careful here. The spell could not be completed. Yeah, so I'm just going to use uh, my charm and let these guys fight each other a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get it exactly where I want. You know, with the right amount fighting each other. So, I mean, if we do it right, we get the bosses fighting each other, but the problem is we have... 
Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use this as I can, I think. And just kind of wait it out, because I think there should always at least be one that's not charmed. But I can't know that for sure. Dilnarv the Butcher. Ooh, that is a A-plus name. So we got Ratfire and the Butcher, so we got this guy, the Charm Ratfighter. Yes, yeah, one kind of strange thing is that they let you charm bosses, which I... I don't know about that, but I, it seems to work out for us. It seems like it's kind of a strange decision. There's a summoned skeleton. That must be my pets. It's not going to be good, though, because my pet can't have any skill points. You guys are stuck. I have to be very, very, very careful if I'm going to go up and attack him manually. As you see, I, <laughs> I just take so much damage. The problem is, if they're on our side, we can't attack them. This Lich I could probably take out. Okay. Getting closer. Switch back to Charm. We'll Charm. We'll Charm Ratfighter. And Ratfighter can hopefully attack the uh, Ogre. Is fleeing. Go ahead and heal him up. Need another wyvern. Okay, how are we getting close? I can't tell. I could probably go after that lich. I just really have to watch my health. You have been poisoned. The thing is, just the less things that exist, yeah, the easier it is going to be for these guys to target. Summon and get that boss. It's a weak mummy. It's like a two hit shot. Two shot kill probably. I honestly don't have to worry about the summons really. Yeah, I can't attack the skeleton, so maybe they are my pets. Could you teach my pet the fire drake spell? Okay, so one of these guys, or the butcher is almost dead. So that was probably the probably a quest because he dropped a specific item. Okay, now so charm one more, bring a couple more in. You are poisoned. Uh, not poisoned for long. That's all right. And I'm gonna do the dangerous and just get right in there and fight him. Sometimes maybe that's just the best way, because I can target, I can go after specific enemies, whereas these uh, wyverns are basically just going to go after what's near the to them. <sighs> Here we go. You have completed a quest. The quest is completed. So that should be all three quests. Just like that. Nice. I mean, we could look to see if there's any antidote. Nice. Quick. Enemies to face. Just to get a little experience. But, uh, yeah. So maybe, yeah, this is an actual chest. Take that. Okay, yeah, let's just get the center area. It's nice that we got a nice short level. That was good, because we've had a lot of quite long and difficult levels recently. Good to have a little bit of a break. Yeah, I mean, we gotta head back here anyway, so we might as well just do it in this way. 
Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I think we've got a good strategy. That's, the Charm Monster spell is very, very useful. Um, so, that's a good thing to have. Because again, when we're facing multiple bosses at once, that's really the issue when there's multiple bosses at once. You really gotta face them against each other and just slowly do damage. We're gonna see, because if I remember right, the uh, final boss... Oops, let me just see if this is worth it. No, no, no. No, nope, definitely not. Anyway, the final boss has uh, minions, but those minions are other bosses, so it's a lot to deal with. Your pet has increased While we're here, let's get some 49. Well, what can I do for you? Oops. Good day to you. Day. Okay, so let's just check up here for 49s. Nine. You have received the quest. And maybe only get two quests, I don't know. Fifteen now. Okay, let's see if there's anything to sell. Alright, um, I don't know if we need anything new here. here is a bargain. You mark my I don't think so, honestly. I think we're pretty set. I mean, if we could just find another shield or a really good helm, I mean, that's that's basically what we've got right now. So, we'll see. we got one quest. So, we will oops, reset. Slowing down for some reason. Well met. Uh, Fifty-one. <laughs> Fifty-one. If this last one's not for me, I'll probably just go with what I have, because we'll at best get two more levels from this. A fine floor. day. Okay. You enter the portal. So, get some more wyverns. These guys are up a little bit. And let's see what 49 looks like. Okay, so this looks like it's a pretty small floor also. It's a little interesting. I'll take it, I guess. So, as usually what I do with small ones is move around the edge, because there tends to be a lot of open space. So just to give us some, you know, make sure we get the corners. There's the stairs. Haven't seen any enemies yet. It's kind of strange. There's something. The orc. Oh, and there's the enemy. Honestly, sometimes I just charge. Oops, I'm the wrong. Okay. Sorry, I was, I was doing the fireball and not the charm spells. Like, what's going on here? Sometimes I'll charm him just to get him out of my face. One boss or two bosses, I can't quite tell. Those meters. Oops. Okay, I need to at least charm one of these two. We'll do that guy. 
So we'll turn around and face that orc. There's dangerous, human, dangerous humanoids. Fine, if you're not gonna get out of here. Okay, we're losing wyverns. Let's send some more in. is gone. Ooh, we got a legendary soul claw. That's a legendary rare item. Or artifact. That's very good. Let's see what that is once we uh, clear out these guys. See, I don't mind attacking this captain as long as he's not facing me. Okay, let's let that work. I need more wyverns. You have completed a quest. one quest. Nice. Whew. That's a lot of damage. It's got him on the Axeman. One thing I gotta do, I forgot to do, is get some spells a trap. for my pet. Okay. Yeah, so I think pretty much what I'm gonna do is once I finish this level, I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to uh, stock up and get the best items I can <laughs> for this final boss fight. This level is not going to take us too long. I'd love to get this Jackal Fiend out of the you way now. Good. Okay, and I leveled up. I'm going to go ahead and do some Vitality because I don't think Strength's going to help us a whole lot at this point. And we'll go with more spell casting. Ugh. I, yeah, I was not smart to be uh, doing that while uh, in, in combat, but uh, whatever. We got an enemy stalker. Whew, critical strike. That just does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Okay, so I will keep going along the edge, which is what I've been doing. Got another ebony stalker. And I'm missing a wyvern. Stay back, you beast. Oh, that's true. One thing I do have to do is um give some spells to my pet. You are poison. Poison for a while. Yeah, it's funny. He gets so used to like elite and legendary enemies that the regular enemies are not difficult, even though they are level 49 or whatever. It might be good, smart, just to bring some mana potions, even though I usually don't need them. Um, I don't know, it's just like you, I definitely don't want to be underprepared, and you hate to buy, die on the final boss. But it's going to be difficult, like, I, I just know, because I've done this before. I think we're pretty prepared, though. I mean, oh, no, no. Yeah, those guys do a lot of damage. You feel refreshed. Legendary ogre. I can get little chunks out of the way using meteor strike. Meteor strike is honestly more effective in with groups of enemies. It's not bad though. I I think I have the least attack magic though, because like, oop, there's a boss. There's that Delican boss. Okay. The spell could not be completed. So I need to heal up, and we do not want that Taurus to get to me. That was two of them. Okay, so let's uh, charm one of them just to get him out of the way. Summon another wyvern. A couple wyverns. He's a. Uh, it's not gonna be super effective against him because it's fire type damage. Okay, now that guy is gone, so we can go ahead and... Nah, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to uh, charm the Taurus, but that's okay. They will take each other out. Need another one of these. A couple of these now.
Okay, so now we should just have that boss wherever he went. He was just here, wasn't he? I don't know where he ended up. There he is. Nope, that's a different boss. Nope, that's him. So. But yeah, he's dual wielding a club, so I don't want to be near. 100% fire resistance, that's not going to be helpful, so I'm just going to have to hang back a little bit. Could go in there. If he can... Depends on how good he is at targeting me. You cannot carry anymore. Come on. Pick it up, pet. Tark Sirith's superior flaming dwarven axe of Epox. Where are you, pet? What are you fucking Come on. Your path Fine, is I'll cool. do it myself. The quest is complete. Okay, so that's both of these quests are done. So we can um just finish out the floor. There's a thunder dragon. Um, another one of these. I'm not sure these guys can even fit in these hallways. I don't know if they can. They might be able to. It's about time to head on down and get the Shanling dead out. Heal myself once or twice, twice I guess. Um, another one of these wyverns. The gargoyle will be almost done. Okay, now we've got a ranged skeletal knight. Three critical strikes in a row. Your pack is full. Okay. So we'll head towards the arrow. And I'll take that. And an antidote. And we're going to use our last town portal spell. Oops. <sighs> that was very close. Oh, I was very close to dying there. Just not paying attention. Because these ogres, man, they're just good. So yeah, I may summon fire drinks. I might do that. Uh, it really is going to depend on the resistances of the bosses we're facing. Um, but for now, I cannot really know. So we're going to return to town. We're going to stock up, and we're going to get this done. Switch to identify. Okay, we need to do that. Whoa! Look at that. That is a seven million dollar. Um. Radical requires renown of Rian. Seven million dollar axe. Forty. Wow, that's good. Um. But we're gonna get rid of it anyway. Cause it's a legendary item or renowned. I can't remember. Now that's also good, but. Keep it. Okay, so let's get some spells for my pet. Like that. He's got 100 magic, so he can really do anything. Poison Cloud's probably good also. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, because we want to have good spells. So we're going to go to inventory. Because the problem is we can't unlearn. I don't know how to unlearn spells from the pet. Or if it's even possible. So let's uh, get these quests out of the way. Now, unfortunately, I think it's an, a cave giant or an ogre, something like that. Which means we're not going to be able to <laughs> attack it one-on-one, -on -one, as I usually like to do. But there's going to be plenty of, uh, of uh, other enemies nearby. Hello. So, um, let's just uh, stock up as much as we can. I'm gonna... Fortune favor you. 19 charm magic, that's not bad, but it's not as good as this, is it? Yeah, that gives us defensive magic, which is essentially equivalent. I'm gonna need that. Um, 
So two antidotes. I'll put this up here. Um, I need a portal out. And let's see what we've got here. Prices. It's practically stealing. Yeah, maybe I could get some better gloves. No, no. Those, that club and me skill is pretty useful. Um, shoot, it's hard for me to... I'll get this ring for my pet. How about that? That's not even good. Okay, we're going to save and exit. And also we can get new spells for my pet to learn. I need like a... I don't know, a slow spell or something like that. Or a banished spell. Everything here is a bargain. So that looks you pretty cool. Um, 64, 51. I mean, it's better. It's. Uh, I'm going to keep what I have, though. Let's check out the magician. Be welcome, traveler. Um... Summon Wyvern. I could go ahead and teach um, my pet that. Battle Fog, attack and lowers defense. Poison Cloud. Ah, I'm already going to get poison, but I will need super healing charms. So I'll buy these. Minor group heal. This is a good one for the pet to know. See, I'm just doing ones that I usually wouldn't use myself. May the light shine upon you. Shocking bursts. Meteor strike. I've already got that. Blindness. You yeah, know, I think... Probably what my pet has is fine. I'm going to give a meteor strike also. <laughs> it just, it's just no damage. So I don't... That's not going to be helpful. Slow spell. Yeah, we'll teach him slow spell. Um, oh yeah. Where'd he go? My wares oh, are man. But ancient give another super healing powerful. charm. So we have eight, 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 seven, eight. Okay, so that's going to be fine. We'll stock this up here. Three super healing potions. Yeah, let's see um, if we can get a ring for my pet. I think Everything my pet is, a bargain. is not have, have all words. rings. Mm. 55, 24. No, no, no. Not a difference. So it's a 155. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this. This is pretty good. But... That... I'm just going to take the defense over that. I don't know if I want to sell this, though. I'll try once more. You know, I, I might miss that charm magic skill too much. At these prices, uh, it's practically stealing. How much is it? Seven magic? F okay, well, that's probably not too much. I think the defense is going to be much more helpful. I can't use those. That's 152 strength. What am I at? Strength. 43, yeah. You never know what sort of deals you'll find among my wares. 137, 151 strength, so that's even more than what I have. 55. Catch her once more. Hello there. Hello there. 13, 117, so 66. That's a considerably better. Yeah, let's try this out. 22 vitality. I will actually take that plus the stamina, so I don't think that magic loss is going to do anything for us. So get that. Ooh, 134 tower shield. Actually, let's try this. Movement speed and knockback. Yep, we're going to sell that and put that up. 130, 77, 75, 51. Maybe we could get new gloves. Not seeing anything there, so I'll uh, save and exit once more. That a uh, $7 million rare item has been very lucrative. It gives us a lot of opportunities nice. to buy things. A little risk. Um, 51, that's the same, basically. Uh, okay, we'll try one more time. I'm just going to do this a couple times, because I want to get the best I can moving forward, because this will be our last level. What's life without a little risk? 68, 75, no. You never know what sort of deals you'll find among my ways. Uh, Alright, at least once more. 
I just need a better belt. The problem is, and as we've had this problem before, is, uh, what's his name, Zim? Gambling is the sport doesn't carry agent. belts very often. 119, so that's a 134. Okay, so that's definitely better. What about this? No, we definitely we already got a better one of those. 74 to 75, 128. Ooh, that's a big difference. 22% magic and 13 attack. Yep, we'll flip those out. That is definitely better. A 52 to a 55, not much difference there. Also, we have our matching uh, hat and uh, chest plate. It's the same, uh, they go together. Anyway, so 61. Ooh, I don't have that renown, though. It's also not that much of an upgrade. Okay. 150 to 51. That just don't have enough strength for that, so let's try at least one more time. I mean, maybe I'm being too uh, specific about this, but I, you know, I want to give us the best chance of success. 157, 120. So that's not too much of a difference. I couldn't, I can't wear it anyway. So 65, 77. I just need a better belt. Mm, 104. Yeah, this is much better. Okay, we'll uh, flip that out. Ooh, that's not good. Nope. 153. Ooh, that's better than that. Yep, we will do that. And we're going to get rid of this now. Um, ooh, 164 is even better, though. Let's try that. 14 stamina. Oh, I can't use it now. Okay. So that was a waste. Alright, let's try one more time. I think this is probably about all we're going to be able to get. <laughs> From this, at these prices, I'm uh, running out of cash. It's practically stealing. Okay, this is gonna have to be good enough. Be welcome, traveler. Okay. A fine day to you. I'm just gonna buy a bunch of these. GS to be safe, because you never know. I mean, I have no use of anything else to fill it up with, so let's just check. Yeah. The elite cave giant is who we're going after. Ooh, I got that, but no, I. Ooh, that is better, isn't it? 77 to 103. Yeah, we're actually gonna flip that out. Uh, I did like the vitality bonus, um, but whatever, we'll deal with what we have. Do I have a uh, dispel? No, I don't. Okay. Hello. All right. Hopefully, two anti doses. step enough. into the portal. All right, level fifty. Here it goes. <laughs> Ooh, this is a small level. Okay. Okay, we are uh, losing guys fast. Stay away from this shaming dead. I mean, I could probably go attack him. I do do fire damage, which is pretty fast. Yeah, that's pretty easy. It's disease centipede. I do not want to get um. Poisoned, especially early on. I guess worst case, I can always teleport back to town. Okay. So yeah, so the way it works, there's no. It's not like you have one big room and you fight the boss. Um, the boss is just hidden somewhere on the floor, just like any other boss. So it does allow us to move slowly. Ideally, you do not want to get uh, caught in a trap without it too much. You have been going on. Okay, and there's my first poison. How long is that? A minute. Dark Phantom. Oh, it's like a okay, so another one. 
these. Heal myself using that. Um, we will, I guess, go around here. Do I have blindness? That probably just reduces my attack. Okay, there's that dark phantom. That looks awesome. Uh, I did not want to use that. Oh well. You are poisoned. Oops. Meteor strike. We need another one of these. Back to meteor strike. Snow Stalker's out, just slowly uh, working through these guys. Alright, that was a little close. It's not being smart. And that guy's stuck back there. Uh, they should be able to target him now, at least. So I'm just uh, moving slowly. In fact, I should probably stop running. <laughs> okay, so my poison's almost done. I didn't need to waste an antidote. I'm using an antidote if I get um, a large poison. Okay, it looks like I hear heard something going on. It might have been my pet, actually. Oh, my. I should tell my pet a heal spell. Sprung. But whatever. Face this uh, legendary bugbear. Yeah, they're really not too bad if they don't have um, any weapons on. We've got two, two enemy or two bosses here, so I'm going to go ahead and charm him. And have them fight each other a little bit, just as we've done in the past. Um, we're gonna keep summoning these guys. We have frailty, so I need to stay well away, if possible. Yeah, these fire resistances mean I'm not choosing to not summon um, fire drakes. What are you guys doing? Keep fighting. Here we have at least three or four bosses here. I think Bat Cutter is our main one. The guy we're trying to kill. Okay, keep summoning these. Doing fine on health. Might as well use that human charm. Um, we'll do shift Your two. Has fled. I just uh, healed him. Okay, we're gonna need to uh, get another one of these guys charmed. I'm charmed back kind of too. Um, we're gonna need this. Well, it's just a lot of uh, charming and uh, being safe, you know, because I do not want to get in that thick of things. Because I will uh, fall apart fast, I think. So it looks like they're attacking him, so I will charm him. Yeah, it's, it's tough to know. I can't tell how many bosses there are. There's a lot, though. There's several. So, I mean, keeping as many of these guys charmed as possible is ideal. The spell could not be completed. Okay, so we're losing that wyvern. You Bring back poisoned. another one. Poisoned. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, charm back cutter. So yeah, so we're slowly doing deal, dealing damage to everything. 
I'm gonna get in here. It's a little bit dangerous. A lot dangerous. I just really have to watch my health. Okay, so we need to get another one of these. We can get going lab to the spies down. Once we get one of these, you know, it's just slowly taking them out. Once we get one out, it just gets a little easier. It's just continually like that. Okay, so there's one gone. Um, and I'm definitely slowed. Use one, summon another wyvern. And we'll charm uh, that guy. Okay, need another wyvern. Send it out. I mean, these are. Uh, I could be using meteor strike, but really it's not going to do anything because these are all. Most of these have a uh, fire resistance, as it looks like. Barret tied the despoiler. I think I'm going to go after him on foot. Ooh, that critical strike really did some damage. Poison Cloud 42 is not terrible. And so now we've only got two. So since we're trying to target Bat Cutter, I think that's the one I want to charm. Ooh, and we need more of these. It's not paying attention. It's like we don't do any damage, and that's why. Your pack is full. Okay, we'll keep that going. That cutter is over halfway done. I would love to get in there and fight him. I am very dangerous of getting hit. I'm very afraid you are of getting overburdened. hit. But, uh, okay, looks like I'm actually doing something. I just really have to watch my health. there. Come on. Finish it out. You cannot carry is that it? Anymore. Your journey is complete. Yeah, Batcutter is defeated. Return to Bremen to receive your award and the adulation of the town. So since we're here, we'll go ahead and finish this guy out. But he should be pretty easy compared to Batcutter and his um, army of boss minions. You cannot carry anymore. But that's it. I'll pick up all these... Uh, magic items in case there's anything really good. But we can go ahead and head home. You step into the portal. Alright, so I'll go talk to Bremen in a minute. I has way over prepared. I didn't know these healing charms. But you never know. My Let's just get rid of these. And powerful. And we've just defeated the final boss. Let's see what Bremen has to say. Yes, has favored you. At last, Bat Cutter, Bat Cutter has been destroyed. Power. Your journey is complete. In experience and Come speak to me when you would like to retire. Okay, so we leveled up. So why not just go to strength again? And we'll do defensive magic. But, so, now we've finished the game. What happens now? Well, first, I think it'd be kind of cool to just look at our stats because uh, this journal keeps track of all the stats we've taken. So, we've steps taken, 60,670, gold gathered, a lot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so 21 million, 87 quests, 50, we did die two times, we defeated 2,359 monsters, 90 bosses, 16, 18 spells, 250 chests, 152 traps, 1775 barrels, um, 293 potions, 33 portals, 253 fish, and 64 times gambled. So, I mean, that's a lot. We did it in 10 hours, so the game's not super long. Um, it took us like 12 or 13 episodes. I can't remember what this one is. So, what now? We finished the game. Let's talk to him. Yes, traveler. Are you ready to retire and continue your legacy as your descendant? You may pass on a family heirloom, and its magical potency will be increased. So, if we do this, what we can do is we can pick an item. And we'll be able to start a new character and bring this item with us. Um, and the nice thing is, it gets the item gets more powerful as you use when you send it down. So this is always a difficult choice. What do you want to do? Because you know, if I were to send something like this, this is one of our best items. If I send this soul guard down, um, then uh, 
it'll get better, it'll get a lot more valuable, but it requires 95 strength, so I'm not going to be able to use it in a long time. Now, I could send this down, and I think I could probably... I don't know if I can get these gems out or not. That's something I'm not sure of. Um, honestly, though, it's almost better just to send something like this down. I mean, I could send this down, you know, and my character could just sell it. It's tough to tell, because we don't have any really tremendously good items. Like, these are all good items. But, honestly, something like this with a 20%... 26 magic bonus to begin with, and it's pretty good. Um, I don't know, it's tough. Let's see what my pets got. Oh, there's just a bunch of unidentified items. 17 dexterity. So yeah, this, so that's how the game works. Once you finish, you can retire, and we can send one of our... create a new character. And I think, I think we're probably gonna finish it up here, but I don't see why not. Yes, Could I send a... Health potion. I give him a health potion or an antidote as a um, air. You know, I'm thinking either this 30% magic or this uh, flat 26. I think the flat 26 is probably better because of the rest of the things. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this. I think this is going to be the good one. And so that's it for this character. Um, the only way we can unretire him is if we go into a. Uh, the save files and edit it. So we're going to say goodbye to, uh, ooh, what's my name? Zenanian the Famous, level 34, 12 renown, and my trusty pet, Vortain. So we're going to go ahead and finish up. This has been such a fun Let's Play. I'm glad that I chose to come back to this. You can see he's following, following me around. And I'll make a new character, because if we want to, we can actually import this character into Undiscovered Realms if I choose to do that. Uh, and it's like, yeah, I think, I think that necklace is going to be the, probably the best. I mean, I know it's not the flashiest item, but I think it really is going to help us out. Yes, especially early on. Alright, everyone, ready to do it? At last, your journey is complete. Read from your long years of adventure, you at last settle down and pass your legacy on to a younger hero. They will carry on your name, fighting new battles, righting old wrongs, and pursuing their own fate. Zenanian retired at 34 with renown of Famous. 21 million gold, 87 quests, 2359 monsters, and 90 bosses. So I could retire forever, but I want to create a descendant. And we'll go up a difficulty to Hero. We'll do a random name again. Danador. I like that. Random until something looks good. Like that. That's pretty nice. We'll get a pat, cat this time. I think we had a dog last time. A Mori Pike. Since oldest living memory, the and so, you know, it just creates a new character. This one's only on level 42. That's a lot earlier than the last one was. 50. But here we are. We have our new character. Fame. And I'll start out with fame, too, because I'm the sun. So I'll start out with extra. Your journey has begun skill points. So you can see, I start with 10 skill points, I start out with this upgrade, and I got a 1, which means I'm a first descendant. Um, and here's this, 53% life, and that improved quite a bit to 33 magic bonus. So I'll put this on, and I'll start out with 43 magic. So it's pretty helpful, isn't it? 43 magic to open up. So, it really does make your next character a lot more valuable. Anyways, though, that was uh, Fate. Let's save and exit and take one last look at our old character. So you can see we can't continue playing. But that's him, Zanin and the Famous, retired. Alright, everyone, this has been Retro Gaming Now, playing Fate. Uh, I'm so happy that we came back to this and that I got to finish out. I think we got the same face on this guy, yeah. So, this is a fun... I really enjoyed this game, and... uh yeah, it's a lot of my a lot of game I played my childhood. So, thank you all for those who followed me along with this journey. Um, as for what's next, well, I'm actually going to be out of town. By the time you're watching this, I'll have been gone for a while, um, and I'll probably be back in two or three weeks. So I think this channel is going to take a little break. Um, and once I get back, I'll try and decide what I want to do next. I might be ready to play some more Fate. I could do Undiscovered Realms next. Or maybe something brand new. I do want to go back to the Mist series, or, hey, you know, I could always try out Torchlight. 
or something like that. It's like a very fate, similar to Fate game. It was made by the same developers. Or one of the same developers, at least. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you know, I don't know. We'll, fi we'll figure that out. But uh, I really enjoyed uh, playing this game, and I'm glad that you guys got to go on this journey with me. Um, so I hope you all have a great day. Um, I always enjoy reading your comments, uh, so if you have anything to say, go ahead. And uh, I think if we do a new Fate game, I will make my character a little bit more, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, less random. I was all over the place with this guy. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Except there is no episode today, and I'm just so used to saying that. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys with the next Let's Play, the next game. Um, I'm getting a little tired of Binding of Isaac, so, I mean, a lot of the videos you're seeing I've made a while ago, so. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, that's it. So, um, I'll see you guys in another video, and I hope you all have a great day. Goodbye.